What's up, vegans and pre-vegans? This is take number three because I don't edit and I have dogs in the background barking because they hear every little thing and bark. So anyway, back to what I was talking about in my last two takes. So doing a book review today, something different, reviewing Mercy for Animals by Nathan Runkle. Um, I've read a good bit of books since I became vegan, mostly because I was uh, interested in wanting to learn more about activism. And uh, when I became vegan, I felt like that wasn't enough. Uh, so I wanted to become active. And I live in a, as I said before, very small little area full of chicken farms. So I felt kind of alone in that regards. Um, so I went to the old Google machine and uh, I looked for animal activism in Delaware. And somehow I came across Mercy for Animals website. I had, I've never heard of them before. Really, I had only ever heard of PETA. Um, so I, I was uh, checking out the website, and they had a volunteer section, and, and had a list of all the upcoming uh, events and things going on, and uh, there happened to be one at Rehoboth Beach, which is just an hour away from me, so I jumped on that, and I was like, oh man, I really want to do this. Uh, so my first foray into activism was uh, doing a table uh, with Mercy for Animals at the Rehoboth Beach Veg Fest, uh, and then I also volunteered later that year at the Philadelphia Veg Fest with Mercy for Animals. And uh, then after that, I kind of started doing my own thing in, in my little area here, trying to do my own outreach, um, still with great support from Mercy for Animals, um, but just trying to build a community here. Um, I've been slacking a lot lately just because things have been so chaotic in my non-activist life. Um, I've really slacked, and I kind of feel bad about that. But anyway, I'm I'm rambling a little bit. So anyway, um, I wanted to wanted to read this book when I saw Nathan was writing it. Um, I've never actually personally met Nathan. I've met a couple of the other folks uh, from Mercy for Animals, um, but I did go and listen to him talk. Um, he's a great speaker. I saw him. I went to one of his. Uh, breakout sessions at the Animal Rights Conference this year, and he gave, um, uh, I guess, a keynote at one of the uh, the big events. Uh, I forget what they're called. Uh, he's a he's a great talker. He's, he's interesting and great to listen to. So, um, about the book. Um, the book is, the book is good. The book is not really anything I, I didn't really know about Mercy for Animals, um, although I will say I didn't know a lot of the history or the the origins of mercy for animals i learned about it at the animal rights conference when i saw him talk and he talked about that um but he talks about it more in depth in the book obviously and i gotta say man i am super jealous that at such a young age he created this awesome organization and now they're a international well-known nonprofit that does amazing things uh for animals uh, so uh, reading more in depth about you know him growing up on a farm and all that other stuff was really quite interesting. Um, it's a it's a good book. It's an easy read. Um, I would recommend it if you're unfamiliar with Mercy for Animals or or the beginning of Mercy for Animals. Really really quite interesting. I think one of the most hi Paisley dog just came up and gave me kisses on the elbow. Um, one of the I think most interesting things, not really interesting, but one of the parts I thought was the hardest in the book to read was uh, the section on the undercover videos. I've watched probably almost all of Mercy for Animals undercover videos every time they release them. Um, so as I was reading through these, I was like, oh, I remember that video, or I remember that video, or yeah, I, I, I remember seeing that video. But the detail that's in the book obviously is always more elaborate than a video is and that that part was hard to read just because it's it's just so awful it's just so awful if you've seen the videos you know they're, that they're awful but reading it I thought was actually worse than the videos um, so um, yeah uh, that was the that was the tough part and then he goes on into other things like the the, the the advances towards clean meat and all the companies like Beyond Meat and Hampton Creek now called Just no longer Hampton Creek, um, and you know some of these companies that are coming out with these clean meats and all that other stuff. So it's like a progression of starting Mercy for Animals, the undercover, you know how he 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 traveled around with like PETA, learning things, and then you know he 
he was trying to figure out how to, you know, finance Mercy for Animals and all that stuff. I mean, he started this like 15, 16, 17, something like that. Um, really, really interesting. I'm, I'm actually, I'm super jealous that, that he was so successful in this because that would be like a dream of mine. Um, but yeah, a good book. Uh, if you don't know about Mercy for Animals, I would recommend it. Um, very easy to read. Uh, very interesting. There are some tough graphic parts. Um, but overall, it's it's a pretty positive, uplifting book. Um, Mercy for Animals is, has become such an awesome, well-known organization. They have chapters, I guess, uh, offices all across the world now, it seems like. Uh, don't mind my dogs barking back there, if you can hear them. Um, but yeah, this is a good book. Um, Nathan seems like a great guy. Uh, I wish I would have had the chance to meet him at the Animal Rights Conference, but I didn't. Um, but I, the people I've worked with and dealt with at Mercy for Animals are all a super, super friendly bunch. Um, very supportive, very positive. Uh, good group of people, good organization. So uh, check out the book, Mercy for Animals. I would recommend it. Um, so yeah, check that out. And don't forget to be vegan.